Hello, Math 6 students and parents and any pre algebra students who are watching. This is just a little review of powers of 10. So they worked on the other uh, Monday in class, but it seemed to be a little confusing for some of us. Well, actually, a majority of us, so we'll take another look. Again, when I see powers of 10, and in particular, again, the 10 is the base, the 4 is the exponent. Here, 10 to the third, the 10 is the base, the 3 is the exponent. And we were discussing and looking for patterns here. So I see 10 to the fourth is the same or equivalent to 10,000, which is the same or is equivalent to 10,000 over 1, or 10,000 divided by 1. See here, this is our power of 10. This is our standard form, our standard notation we've talked about. And this is our fractional form, just taking that and putting it into a fraction, creating a fraction of it. I, th I felt pretty confident with you guys with knowing your positive exponents. What worries me is your negative exponents. I think when we hear negative, we think that the number is less than zero. But in this case, we see that 10 to the negative first is really not zero. It is one-tenth, or we have 1 over 10 as the fractional form. So this is not less than 1. I'm sorry, this is less than 1, but it's not less than zero. See, we see have 10 to the zero power, which is just 10 which is a one-to-one -one relationship here. But then we have those negative. We're actually not getting smaller than zero. We're just getting smaller than one. So for instance, if I have 10 to the negative second, and if I want to convert that to the standard form, first thing I'm doing is I'm looking at the negative exponent. I know it's going to be less than one. So I'm going to start with a zero decimal point. Now, this has to be those decimal points to the right. So we have tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. Because I see the negative two, I know that I'm dealing with two place values to the right of zero. Now I can't put two zeros here because that's just zero. We just said that these numbers are larger than zero, just smaller than one. So I'm going to put a zero in the first place value of tenths, followed by one in the hundredths place. So ten to the negative second is the same as one hundredth, or we can also say the same as one over a hundred, which can also be written as one tenth times one tenth. Because we multiply fractions, we just multiply numerators, and we multiply denominators. One times one is one, ten times ten is a hundred. So if I were to go to ten to the negative fifth, which is not on the chart to the right, I say, hey, wait a minute, I know this number is less than one but greater than zero. So I'll put the zero. Now it the negative 5 tells me that it's 5 place values to the right of the decimal. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, all of these are going to be zeros. Tenth, hundredth, thousandth, ten thousand. I cannot put another zero here because that would just give me zero. That's where my 1 goes because I have that 1 in the 10. I'm just moving that decimal place 5 places over. All right, so that's how I get that 1 ten thousandth. Now when we take something like this and we say, hey, what is 4 times, I'm going to use a dot as the multiplication symbol, times 10 to the negative, let's say, third. So I'm really multiplying this 4 by 1 thousandth. So all I'm saying is, hey, where's the decimal point at 4? And many of us forget this. It's not in front of the 4. That's 40 cents, essentially. It's behind it because we have $4. So if I were to write a 4 here, the decimal point is really right here. Now it says to move the decimal point three places. Now, remember what we said. When we have a negative exponent, that number is larger than zero, but less than one. Well, if I moved it to the right three places, that would give me 4,000. That doesn't fit my uh, qualification as it must be larger than zero, but less than one. So I must move it to the left three places. So one, two, there's no digit there, so I put a zero to hold that place value, and Three, I put a zero there to hold that place. If I put my decimal point and then add in a zero. So that is the same as four thousandths. Okay, if I take something like three and five tenths times ten to the second power. Okay, now I see a positive integer. So this number is going to be larger than what it is right now because I am essentially ten to the second power is a hundred. So I'm multiplying this by a hundred. The, in a hundred, we have two zeros. So that means I'm moving two powers to the 10 to the right because that integer or that exponent, sorry, tells me to move it two places to the right. So one place, 
2. So it is not 35 because that would be one place. It is 350. Let's try another one. Let's go with, we could always go with 0 and, let's try this one. 0 and 5 tenths is equal to, let's say, 10 to the negative second power times what? Now, what do we multiply 10 to the negative second power by to get 5 tenths, or 5 hundredths, excuse me? I automatically look at the exponent. It is a negative. So that must mean I moved this decimal place. It was somewhere. It was not always here. I moved this two places to the left because I was getting that number smaller. So I moved it two places to the left. So when I started with, I must have had it two places to the right. One, two, that gave me five. So 10 to the second times five gives me five hundredths because, again, 10 to the negative second is a hundredth. And we just tell you, it would, anything times one gives me that other number. Uh, let's try another one. Let's go with 7 and 2 tenths is equivalent to or equal to. Let's go 10. Actually, let me go. I'm going to flip this. That was equal. Let's say I started with 7 and 2 tenths. And I multiply that by 10 to some power. Now, I am looking. From here to 72 cents to essentially $1.72. Did I get bigger or smaller? Hmm, would I rather have $7.20 or 72 cents? I, so I've got, I became bigger. Now my decimal point is here now. It started here, so it moved one place to the, le to the right. One place to the right. So I'm looking for that number that has a 1 in as, as its exponent, and it's a positive because the number became larger, so it's 10 to the first. Hope this helps.